even though the Las Vegas Raiders are stacking loss after loss, they have made more moves signing cornerback Sidney Jones, the former second round pick from the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017. The Raiders desperately need some help at cornerback ever since Nate Hobbs has gone on injured reserve. They have Rocky Asin. They also have Anthony Averett, who are both on one year contracts, but Anthony Averett has struggled and along with the Meek Robertson, making some plays here and there, but not enough consistency for the Las Vegas Raiders. So the Raiders have decided to give Sidney Jones a shot. He was recently released by the Seattle Seahawks. He spent the 2021 season with them. Prior to the Seahawks in 2020, he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and before then, he had played for the Eagles for several years. And Seahawks fans were actually shocked to see this guy get released earlier this season. The Seahawks originally traded a six-round pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars in order to get Sidney Jones. And the Raiders aren't exactly looking for Sidney Jones to be the best cornerback on the team. Rocky Asin has played well throughout the season. The question is, could he be an upgrade over Amik Robertson, the former fifth round pick in 2020? And could he potentially be an upgrade over Anthony Averett, who was benched a little bit today? And you saw Sam Webb come into the game and also Nickel Robbie Coleman also playing some snaps at cornerback in lieu of Anthony Averett. So the Raiders and Patrick Graham are trying to find their best combination of cornerbacks that they can play for the remainder of the season. Sidney Jones has only played a few games this year so far, 12 snaps against the Denver Broncos and had a 77 PFF grade overall. But hey, you're playing the Denver Broncos. That's not saying too much. But last year in 2021 with the Seahawks, Sidney Jones had 283 snaps and had a 70 PFF grade, zero interceptions, but he did have eight pass deflections. That is some impressive stuff. And it is kind of nice to see the Raiders still make moves and still try to improve this team, even though they just had a devastating loss. It shows that, hey, despite that the season is not going your way, you're still looking at the big picture, the long-term outlook, trying to snag a player here and there. Can we snag one guy to slightly improve the team for 2023 and the rest of this year? As many of us are saying, the season appears to be over. The playoff hopes appear to be closing to Sean Reed saying the Raiders season is over after losing to the Jaguars and he can't blame him because really the odds of making the playoffs right now are so slim. You are two and six right now and you're playing the easiest part of your schedule. Keep in mind when we looked at this schedule, we saw on the board the Saints, the Jags, then you play the Colts. These three games in a row were supposed to be a lot easier than playing the Cardinals, the Titans, and the Chiefs. But the Raiders are not winning easy games, the games that you thought they would win when you're looking at the schedule in August. And so on a certain level, it's hard to get excited about these moves, especially when the biggest problem that we saw today in the game was not necessarily the cornerbacks. Yeah, the cornerbacks were not great. Yeah, the defense wasn't great. But the real big problem, like we've seen in several games, is the fact that that offense refuses to score. Sometimes just refuses to score and refuse to score in the second half of the game today. That is the biggest problem on the Raiders team right now. That is the thing that they need to figure out is how can this coach and quarterback together get the ball to their receivers? How could they move the ball down the field and score touchdowns rather than making Daniel Carlson the kicker, the MVP of every single game? And so what Raiders fans really want to see, and I think what our Raiders fans are curious about is, is there going to be any changes on the offensive side of the ball? Are certain people going to get snaps over other people? Are we going to try a different strategy? Is there a different game plan here that we can do rather than have these same results that we've seen six times so far this season? The Raiders are now winless on the road too. We cannot win on the road. Our only wins have come in Allegiant Stadium. But ultimately, we know whether Raiders fans like it or not, Josh McDaniels is going to be able to attempt to execute his long-term plan. People can say, hey, fire Josh McDaniels all you want. But guess what? Mark Davis already said he's the coach for years to come, probably already gave him too much money. And so Josh McDaniels is going to continue to make these moves to just build his team and look forward to next year. So what's going to be interesting to see the rest of the season is who Josh McDaniels decides to keep, who he decides to let go, and who is in his future plan since he looks to be the coach in 2023. I'm afraid to even do this in the comments right now because of what I think these angry Raiders fans might say, but let me know how you feel about this signing in the comments below. We are on our way to 32,000 subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.